Texas lawmaker is in jail tonight. Ron Reynolds turned himself in to start serving a one-year sentence. Reynolds was convicted on five misdemeanor barony charges. That's litigating for harassment or profit. Prosecutors say he used a middleman as an ambulance chaser to get more clients. Reynolds does not have to resign his state office. And we first introduced you to Reynolds earlier this year. Our investigation found that he owes tens of thousands of dollars in ethics fines that were unpaid for years. KXAN investigator Jody Barr broke this ethics fine investigation back in February, and he joins us now with his update. Well, what we first reported back in February is still the case tonight. Representative Ron Reynolds still owes more in unpaid ethics fines than any other person in Texas. Reynolds earned those fines for failing to file campaign finance reports. In February, Reynolds owed the state of Texas $48,000, but that's now grown to more than $52,000. We also told you about another Texas lawmaker, Representative Donna Dukes, who owed the state a $500 ethics fine. State ethics records show Representative Dukes still has not paid that fine as of tonight. We also told you about Representative Nicole Collier, who also owed a $500 ethics fine in February. After our investigation, Collier paid her fine. But the list of people who owe state ethics fines is longer now than just six months ago. In February, there were 264 candidates who owed more than $1.1 million in fines. Tonight, 42 more candidates are on that debtors list. Sydney.